Hi guys, so why are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like men's hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this, then please do press subscribe right now. Right, things are slightly different at the moment. Barbers, hairdressers are reopening and things are gonna be slightly different. So I thought the best way to sort of know what to expect is to get someone on who definitely knows their stuff and who has been getting all his barber shots ready. I have got Johnny from Barber Barber. He is joining me right here. Hi, how are hey you? Hey guys, how are you? Good, thanks Robin, how are you? Good? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Thanks so much for joining me. I thought um, you had a video that you put on Instagram and I thought it was amazing, kind of showcasing this sort of different, um, I suppose, safety, hygiene sort of levels that you as a barber and a barbershop owner is gonna to have to do. So I thought the best thing would be get you to tell the guys kind of what to expect. You know, we've got a couple of things in place. So first and foremost, we are running an appointment only. You must book the appointment through our app. When you download the app, it's gonna bring you straight through to a questionnaire page and ask the obvious questions. Have you been in contact with somebody with COVID? Do you have a cough, any new symptoms? And if you answer yes to any of these questions, obviously it doesn't allow you book, okay? So yeah. that's, that's lovely. Yeah. But when you come to the door, we expect people, we ask people to arrive five minutes before their appointment, you know, but, and we'll take their temperature at the door. And again, if the temperature is above a certain type, we're going to have to, you know, politely decline the service. When you get into, in, in the, into the shop, our barbers are going to be numbered. You sit directly behind that barber, okay, on the, on the bench. So there's enough space in between each barber chair to correspond with the waiting area. So there'd be no more than six upstairs, five downstairs at any one time. You'd be asked to bring a mask with you. Okay. Or if you don't have one, we're gonna provide one for a very small charge, like a pound or something like that. I see a lot of people are asking people to wash their hair before they come to the shops. I see that a lot. Again, I wouldn't take somebody's word for it. You know what I mean? So we've never done dry haircuts anyway. All our, all our services since we opened have been shampoo and finish. So we, we shampoo the hair. We're going to use disposable gowns, disposable towels, obviously neck tape like we always used. So we shampoo the hair. We'll be wearing gloves while we shampoo the hair, but we'll be taking the gloves off when we cut hair. Um, again, there's been a big one about shaving and beards. Yeah. I know a lot of people aren't offering it, right? We're going to continue to offer it once our barbers are happy to do it yeah. and once the customers are happy to get it. Um, but again, when the beard is being done, customer will have to take off his mask but our barber will have a mask and a visor for the beard okay also wearing gloves for the beard or the shave after the service is finished in between every service there's a full clean down you know the the, the gowns the towels the neck tapes all dispose of medically okay you know what i mean that's yeah. the thing you know we we, we dispose of our sharps in the sharps bin mm -hmm. and they're collected and incinerated so again we are going to have two different bins, you know, for our, our daily rubbish, yeah. like uh, food and that. And then we're going to have our medical waste bins that are going to be collected and disposed of appropriately. It's going to be so strange because mm -hmm. I don't think us as barbers know how serious this is going to be until September. Mm -hmm. You know, come September, we're going to know if we're going to fly or if we're going to fail. Yeah. You know, and it's very, very troubling time for me as a business owner. Those who were clean before and those who kind of worked correctly within the guidelines before because barbershops you know there's always been blood always been skin always been hair three dirtiest things yes. in the world right and you know we've never had any cases of customers reporting getting into Tiger or anything like that from our stores you know we've always run a very very clean ship as i said and now we're just going to be a lot more visual about it because i know clients now are going to be hyper hyper aware and you know i want i want the journey to be as comfortable because at the end of the day it's still a service industry, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And you know, I said because we just because we're clinical doesn't mean we have to work in a clinic. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's a, it's it's very possible to be safe and be efficient and still have that beautiful barbershop vibe that that for me is the most important thing. Yeah. So re so really for the for the customer, the, the main difference is booking ahead, wearing a mask yeah. and just being mindful yeah. to be sensible. If you're presenting any yeah. symptoms, if you've been around anyone that's had COVID or been showing symptoms, then just don't go. Yeah. If people aren't silly, right? And if the barbers are efficient and you know, there's gonna be just a small few changes, but if we do those changes correctly, I think it'll be seamless to be honest. It's gonna be weird working in a mask, but you know, it is what it is. We've yeah. got to do it. 
you know, we got to do it. Thank you very much, Johnny. I find, so, I find this really, really useful pleasure. and I'm sure everyone watching at home will have too. What I'll do is I'm going to link all um, your details for Barber Barber. Check out Barber Barber. Johnny's yeah. been on the channel before. Amazing barber shops. Johnny's a great guy and everyone working with him like at the top of their game. So check them out. But thank you again and best of luck for reopening. My pleasure, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Thanks, Robert. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below if you are booked in for your next haircut and also kind of what hairstyle you're going to be going for. Do check out the hairstyle directory. Loads of different haircuts and styles as a bit of inspiration for you there. But thank you again. If you're still new to this, you've still not pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is just on screen. There's also more video suggestions down there. A link to the hairstyle directory there. Man for hair Instagram up there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.